Hello there, I'm Sam Bartlett. Welcome aboard Blue Turquoise, our Beneso 50 from 1998. We've been sailing in the Caribbean now for about the last 10 years and we sail around 3,000 miles during the high season, up as far as the Bahamas and down south as far as Trinidad. In an effort to eliminate bottled water, we use a double filter system which we use to filter the water from our tanks. Those we fill from shore supplies. BT carries around a thousand litres in her tanks, which means we generally don't hanker after a water maker. Instead, we use a 10 micron filter like this one for filtering out sediment, any bits of sand or uh, other particles that are in the water, and an activated carbon filter like this one, which takes out any bad taste, like chlorine, which might be in some shore supplies. It works very well and we have nice sweet tasting water which tastes often a lot better than the desalinated water that you find in many of the bottled water brands. But we've been missing one element in our water purification process and that's a UV steriliser. These gadgets work by irradiating the stream of water passing through them. This disrupts the DNA of any microbes and kills it within a few milliseconds. Obviously we hope that the water we put in our tanks doesn't contain any nasties, but you can't guarantee that here in the Caribbean, especially on islands where the water supply might have been affected by the hurricanes. The Instant Trust water purifying system consists of the UV lamp, a tap filter to eliminate sediment and any bad taste, and a flow switch which triggers the UV lamp only when we turn the tap on. For our purposes I'm also installing a dedicated drinking water tap. I bought this simple cold tap at the hardware store for 40 US. If you don't already filter your drinking water, you can easily add a tap filter to one of your cold taps. These mechanical filters remove microparticles and any bad taste from your tank water supply and are an easy add-on without cutting into your existing pipework. The unit recommended with the Instant Trust system is one of the best filters on the market. It's made by Torre Vino and is available in Budget Marine for around 90 US. The filter cartridge contains activated carbon, an ion exchange barrier and a sediment filter. It removes chlorine, mould, rust, dissolved chemicals including agricultural chemicals and most bacteria. This cartridge lasts for three to eight months depending on how much you use it and filters 1500 litres of water. Replacement cartridges are just under 80 US. Just think, that same amount of bottled water would cost around a thousand dollars and generate a thousand waste plastic bottles that need to be disposed of. The Instant Trust steriliser itself costs 338 US. It needs to be plumbed into the pressurised cold water line and it needs a power supply, preferably linked to your freshwater pressure pump so that it's engaged when the pump is on. But we only want it to operate when we're drawing water from our dedicated drinking water tap. So I'm also installing a flow switch into the cold water line. This starts up the steriliser as soon as it senses a flow of water and make sure that all the water coming out of our tap will be purified. The flow switch costs $95 from Budget Marine. The Instant Trust steriliser will purify around 50,000 litres of water before you need to think about changing the UV bulb. That's a lot of drinking water. A replacement bulb costs around 200 US. You'll need some lengths of hose 
a T to divert some pressurised water to the new tap and some hose adapters as we have a mix of half inch and three quarter inch fittings in the new line. If you're installing a water takeoff for the first time you will also want to install a shut-off valve so that you can isolate the new line for maintenance in, in the future. To get power to your steriliser you'll need some electrical cable and some cable ties to neaten everything up. The unit comes with a pre-wired chocolate block for the final connections, a waterproof junction box and some hose clamps. As with pretty much every boat job, the hardest part of this job was working inside a small dark cupboard with everything at arm's length. The whole job took me a couple of days from start to finish, but I lost quite a lot of time trying to figure out the best place to mount everything, as it does need quite a long run of flat wall. The instructions don't say whether you can mount the steriliser vertically, or whether you could mount it upside down on the roof of the locker, but I think you probably could, as the important thing is to have the water flowing past the bulb. As I decided to install it on a flat vertical surface, as in the booklet, I needed to make the mounting panel and that also cost me some extra time. There you have it, clean, safe, sweet tasting water straight from our tanks. And it tastes every bit as good as anything you'd buy in a plastic bottle. So why don't you save yourself the trouble of lugging around bottles, do something small for the environment and save some money at the same time. <laughs>